So, a while back I made a couple videos looking at two of my favorite window managers. Uh, OpenLook, or OLW, OLWM, and uh, the Motif Window Manager. And so those were kind of the big, kind of early 90s competing desktop environments. Superseded, of course, by CDE, which borrowed from, took some stuff from Motif and, uh, you know, like the, the look and feel and the window manager, and took some stuff from OpenLook, like the desk set. But today I wanted to look at probably my favorite all-time window manager, TWM, the tab window manager or Tom's window manager, uh, written in the 80s by Tom Lestrange. This is when I'm at my office and I have my, my big screens and my mouse. This is the window manager I prefer. And we'll go through a few of its features. Um, it, it's old, it shows its age in some ways, but it's included in every installation of X, or should be. Um, and it is just wonderful. It does just what you need a window manager to do. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's take a look at some of the some of the features. Um, I will bring up a window, bring up an XFCE term, and as you can see here, it may be a little small because of such a high resolution display. There's a grid, a three by three grid, that indicates placement. So when you you launch a new window, when a new window is coming in, so a new X client's coming in, it doesn't pop up automatically. I believe you can set it that way, but I like this. So you choose the position. And for window decorations, you'll see there's a title bar, the name of the window, uh, a button in the top left, and a button in the top right. The button in the top left iconifies it. And I don't like to use icons. I use what's called the window, the icon manager, which is kind of like a, a task bar of sorts in that it, it iconifies out to this kind of box with text. And so you can iconify or de-iconify there. The other box is for moving. And again, this is using left click. And you can stretch. And you get the, the grid back. Hopefully you can see it better here on this background. Um, and again, I like this old school retro um, thatched gray look. The, the retro X background. I find it's a little bit less eye strain than a solid color. Although sometimes I'll put a picture back there. Um, and viewers who have seen my other videos may wonder why they haven't seen TWM before. I always seem to be in XFCE. Um, I'm at home when I do these videos, and I have a laptop with a touchpad. Um, TWM, its big fault, it is not touchpad friendly. right? You really need a mouse. Because imagine you have to click and move everything and drag um, when you're, you're launching and resizing Windows. It is... It is my least favorite when using with a touchpad, but with a mouse, it's excellent. So there we have minimize and, uh, you know, iconify, de-iconify, and resize. And then if you left click on the title bar, you can then move it. Let's bring up another window, and you see here, this is my right button here. So we have three buttons on the mouse. We have three things. So you can define your menus any way you like. For my left button, I like the standard default menu here, which has some operations. So you can iconify, so which is nice. So you can you can do any of these operations. You select the operation you want, and then click the client you want or the window. So I want to move. Select the one to move. And that is a nice feature to have those operations. You also have kill and delete. Um, you can bring focus to a window. Some nice stuff there. By default, it is also focus follows mouse, which is, again, a nice touch for a window manager. My middle button, I have set for what my windows are. So I can switch to different windows. There's my window I launched simple screen recorder in. And I can also bring up the other terminal here. So that window list at the middle button I find handy. Again, you can configure your, your buttons how you want. You can do hotkeys. I don't do too much in the way with hotkeys. I like to do everything uh, with the mouse, keep the hands free for typing in things. 
Um, and then on the right hand, the, the far right button, I have my menus. Um, and this is just a small set of stuff. Most of the stuff I do is with a terminal. Occasionally I have to launch Chrome. Emacs is the editor I'm always going to. Um, I have my analytics tools, some browsers here. Thunderbird's under browsers because, I don't know, HTML, email, who knows. Um, my terminals, sometimes you may want a different terminal. I like the XFCE term. That's kind of my preference these days. And we have Eclipse and DB Visualizer there. Uh, so those are my menus and then some other stuff. So we can do some of my hosts. And, and uh, here are just some utilities. So virtual box. So you can define these menus and we'll take a look at the config file here in a minute. But some of the the nice features about this obviously won't go into things like focus follows mouse. <coughs> That's not not essential. But let me bring up another another terminal here. So here we have the two terminals, and say I want to raise the one behind it. I can use the window operation of raise. All right. I also have my window ops here in this one. So we have the raise lower. So we can use that to lower that. So it, it stacks windows very nicely and lets you treat them like a stack uh, in nice ways. So also, say I want to bring up that middle one that I launched, which is the bottom of the stack here. I can go like that uh, and select it from the window list. Now let's bring all these back to the icon manager. You can also click in the icon manager on the window title to bring everything back there. And we're back to a clean slate. So let's bring up the uh, let's do this in Jed. So here's my TWMRC and uh, hopefully this is this is a big enough font for you to see. Um, but you can very easily define things. So I defined, uh, as some of this stuff is boilerplate, you don't want to mess with it. But you can set what fonts you want, uh, your, your border widths, your colors. I don't know why I like this red and blue. I don't know, maybe that's how it was set up when I first used it. But I like the red and blue. Um, you can define things you don't want to title on. So let, let's do this. Um, we'll make an edit here. So we will... <laughs> a little little viism sweeping in there and let's uh let's take a look at this and restart and you can see the change so now we have a title on the icon manager so we can move it around if we want but uh i won't go i won't go too in depth with with twm um there's a lot of configuration you can choose and it just in so many ways is a wonderful window manager. Give it a try. Um, it is not for everyone. So it is very austere, very bare bones uh, window manager again. And it's missing some modern features. So things like Chrome has some issues with it. Um, Firefox does not. Um, if you if you need a browser, basically all the really compliant X stuff that's designed to run on a lot of systems should be no problem, but some of the very, very modern stuff um, will. Obviously, you'll have to add a taskbar or a, you know, a dock if you want to dock things like your network manager applet. And you'll need to add your own your own tray. Sorry, that's the right term, tray. So I use the Stallone tray, um, well, just because of the name. I, you know, how fantastic is that Stallone tray? So, I don't know what else to what else to say about it really. Um, I fear to maybe say too much because this is, you know, I have a personal attachment to this window manager because I have used it for what I don't know when did I first see it ninety ninety one. So that's twenty four years using this window manager maybe ninety two. Um, it, it's other advantages incredibly configurable. You can do icons or the icon manager. You can um, change colors. There are extensions like TV, TWM, 
to get virtual uh, virtual desktops. Um, if you're a, something snoring in the background, it's not me. It's my dog. He is old and he snores loudly and often. Um, he's, he's almost 13 years old. Um, <coughs> what else can I say about TWM? Give it a try. Leave a comment below uh, with your thoughts on TWM. Um, it, it's one of my favorites, and maybe I'm, I just kind of like these classic window managers motif I use on one of my machines, TWM on another. Um, and then, of course, my laptops all use XFCE because I find it the most laptop-friendly while being lightweight. But it's not as lightweight as TWM. Probably the only thing of the big-name window managers in the same league as TWM for size and speed would be FVWM, which is based on the code from TWM. So TWM is also important in that way, in that it was the basis for a lot of other things. Um, and I think it was the second window manager ever. I think before that there was UWM, which I've never used. Um, didn't have a lot of experience with Ultrix, so... Uh, I guess that's that's what I have to say about this. Let me know. I can maybe make another video if, if anyone wants to see more particulars about configuring it or doing anything. But as you can see, it's kind of a, a C-stylish config file. Pretty self-explanatory, and the man page explains it all. Well, thanks.